Hello my YouTube friends. Today we're going to look at three lenses that I have in my collection that I use for various applications. So stick around, I'll be right back. Alrighty, the lens that you're looking through right now is got cobwebs out here. Is the uh, kit lens that came with my Canon 70D. It's the 18 to 135 millimeter zoom. It's a very versatile lens. I've used it a lot, and uh, I would highly recommend it. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but if you're going to buy a new camera and you have the option of that lens, I would highly recommend it because it's very versatile and it's a pretty good quality lens. So next, we're gonna take a look at a different lens. So stay right there. Alrighty, what you're looking through now is the 50 millimeter F1.8 prime lens. Now this is a very handy lens for situations where you want to have a out of focus background or a bokeh. As you'll notice, I didn't move the camera other than just tilting it up a little bit more. This lens brings me closer to it. You have a, a narrower angle and uh, a much more closer focal length. So this, this lens is very handy, as I mentioned, for creating bokeh. If you want to do a video where you've got an object in the foreground and then another object in the background, you can pull focus on, on the background area and that'll leave this foreground area blurry and out of focus. And then you can pull focus back to this object and bring it right into crystal uh, clear focus to bring attention to it for the viewer. one other lens and uh, let me make that change and I'll be right back. This is the third and final lens that we're going to talk about today. This is uh, my newest lens. It's the 10 to 18 millimeter ultra wide angle. This lens is uh, very commonly used for interior shots for real estate videos because it makes things look bigger and wider. As you'll notice, the, the field out here looks much larger than it did with the other two lenses and I look a lot further away from you. So I'm in the same position. I didn't move the camera. Nothing has changed. So that's the, uh, the third lens. I bought this for my real estate uh, interior video shots. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any comments, leave those. I'd like to know what lenses you're using. Uh, and if you're a real estate photographer, put that in the comment as well. So that's it for now. Till I speak with you again and even after that, you stay focused.